In this episode, Jason and I spot another clean Canada Goose spec and duck combo for a sunny, hot afternoon hunt. This time, the specs were far less than cooperative. In fact, they didn't even come to the party. The Canadas that came stayed. We managed another five-man limited ducks while having several ducks hovering just over our heads. Happy times with great company on a sunny afternoon. Life is good. I'm Claudio Angaro, and I take people hunting. I woke up one day as a 27-year-old school teacher and said to myself, I'm gonna build a hunting lodge. That was in 1994. Now I lead my dedicated team of guides for 63 days each fall, exposing my clients to some of the best waterfowl hunting of their lives. Controlled chaos, epic hunts across five million huntable acres. We are hired to hunt. Oh, they're still sitting there, Jay. Yeah, looks good. Looks like a classic. You know, you know what's cool about the spotting, right? Like we spend more time spotting than we ever do hunting. Mm -hmm. And and it's it's just such a an amazing part of 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 the hunt, right? Like we see so many things when we're spotting, but the, watching the birds and watching the birds just be birds is so cool. Oh, you learn a lot. Oh, yeah. You. And then this waterfowl hunting you know spotting is number one. Oh yeah you got to be underneath those birds you want to be where those birds want to be i like these binos i do i like them oh, look at them coming out cabela's intensity hds i am liking them yeah they're very nice crystal clear they are oh look at that look at those three geese look at the pins mallards Three honkers just going right in there. Oh, I love it. These are hungry. They're, uh, their metabolism, they're getting cold at night, and today's going to be a hot one. I think 22 degrees today, so. Being on the X, you're right, is, is so critical. And, and let the hunt, watch the hunt and let it unfold and get all the details. Oh, you right? need like, that, yeah. Like, we, we just, we went back, grabbed the coffee because we're close, came back, and the situation had changed a little bit already, right? Yeah. You know, and when I hunted this this one a week ago, well, it was it started right where they were, and the eagles were badgering them heavy. Mm -hmm. I ended up hunting. You know, we're in one quarter; they were in the next quarter over wow. in the far That's end. A long one. Roll them! Roll them! Roll them! It is a long ways, and, and you can't decoy them that far, right? Yeah. So, and I made that decision late morning, like at wow. ten thirty. Yeah, that you know, makes you nervous. Were they finished? Yeah, I was yeah, a little nervous, sure. you know. And are they going to go back to their original program, or are they going to stick on that new program? Right, right. You just can't stroll in and throw up the blinds and half dress them and throw a, a goofy, just throw the decoys out. You still mm. have to, even though you think it's a winner. Oh yeah. You still have to. You know, do it right. Well, or they will humble you awfully quick. It happens, and and that's why every hunt you go into, you go into a little bit of, you know, with a little bit of edge and a little bit of trepidation. Oh, I mean, yeah. I know you get nervous, oh, I get nervous, yeah. and and so important to adapt too, right? Like if it's not going your way, and you can pinpoint a change, make yeah, the change, absolutely. right? Don't sit there and watch flight. Well, maybe this flight, maybe this flight will come. Maybe this flight will come. Yeah, no, you gotta, you gotta get up and do it. Yeah, praying is for no. for no. you know church on Sunday yeah. mornings, you know, and and when you're out there, praying's not going to help you no. make the birds decoy. I mean, you really have, you to, have to be to proactive. Make that change, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Or even you know on a on a duck hunt, you know, for whatever reason, you pick the wrong puddle, or they decided mm -hmm. to hit a different puddle for whatever reason. You just there's a slight misinterpretation. I mean, I've grabbed. You know, it doesn't take much, that's right. I've gone and actually even just with uh, uh, Mojo, yes. my duck, no decoys and just get the hunters, let's get over the go, I got yeah. go, 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 get in there and yeah, you salvage the hunt. You do, you yeah. save it and you kill your and 40 that's showing and that home. those birds just want there. You right. have no decoys, Mojo and that's it. That's I've even done that in the field where they don't they come out late and they don't want the puddle mm -hmm. so you got now you got floaters right, right? you have no uh, uh full bodies right and so we've just gone to the edge of the water 
throw a robo down. That's out right. And bang, Smash bang, 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 bang. Yep. Right? Yep. And it's that it's being able to recognize and not being afraid to make that change, right? right? Yeah. If there's a slight adjustment in the wind, rather than having the birds line up on a wrong angle, we'll make the adjustment to present the shot, right? And making those changes really quick yeah. is critical, right? Yeah. Back back here at this puddle I spotted last night where all the ducks come in here. I mean, it's just, the guys want to hunt out of upright blinds today, so we set up a big, uh, big upright blind. Normally I would hunt boxes in the boxes or layout blinds right here on the edge but uh, they get to sit on buckets better for their backs put out about I don't know maybe 80 or 100 uh, floater decoys I'm gonna stab stab three or four lucky ducks right inside the hole and when did our back hopefully those ducks come back in here you know they should and then uh, there's one other pond that the ducks are using so I'll just park the truck over there and flag it and Make sure the ducks don't get in there because if they start to accumulate, they, they could get ugly real quick, even on something this, you know, this pretty simple. But so, anyways, that's where we're at. What do I hear? Thought I heard a duck, which is never good. But, uh, anyways, yeah, decoy's behind me. I'm ready to go. Oh, that's a speckle belly or a little Canada right there, right above me. <laughs> that's cool. Lucky ducks. I like them. They're just, they're, this is a very well built system. I mean, they got a cool looking duck. And then, uh, there's that goose again. Uh, and then they got a great other stake system so I can, I can run an extension tube in the water or I can pull these out. And if the ducks give me any trouble at all, I can just stab them in the field behind us and keep the ducks on track that way too. So, anyways. They're coming right in. That's that. Look at that duck coming right in. Uh oh. How come he landed over there though? Uh oh. We're in trouble. Look at these ducks. Isn't that fun? I'm ready, Claudio. Petey. Petey. Petey, we're done. It's not Pete's world all the time. Sometimes it's Claudio's world. Damn it. <laughs> Anyways, that was that was unreal. That was we were uh, we got it wrapped up. I mean, we hardly even had to. We stood on the edge of the blinds. The guys down. shot. It was un unbelievable this morning, and they were there. In fact. The criticism they had is they're too close. I had the robo duck probably too close. There's ducks inside of five yards. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Ah, thanks, DD. They're hired to hunt. Okay, okay now I'm going to take some pictures. All right. All right. Uh, the birds have left. They uh, went into the puddle there. And so we rolled into the field now, and we're going to pin where the birds were feeding. They fed, oh, a couple hours this morning. Real, uh, just a classic duck hunt. Uh, the speckle belly showed up, so it turned into more or less a, uh, a combo hunt, which is going to be fun as well. It's definitely more of a duck hunt. Pop that. Pop that. I love these. They're quick and easy. They fold nice. I like them. Finally. Great point. Solid, solid door system too. These are the Cabela's Renegade yeah. Series. <laughs> here they come, here they come. Get ready, on the right. Oh geez, I still have the drone out here. I don't even think I'm loaded. Go, 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 go! Well, except I didn't even have my gun loaded. Kind of a stupid move. <laughs> Get ready on the right. Get ready. Let them come. Get ready. Go, 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 go. Oh, he wasn't going nowhere. <laughs> oh, 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 three of them. Three. Get ready. Let them go around. They're going to go to water. Nope, they're coming. Are we going to go on three? I don't know, are we? Yeah, we can go three. 40's long. We can, we'll get a couple. Wait, right, get on the left. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Go, 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 go. Oh. Jesus, I called them 40, 40 yards out there. They kept flying. They didn't go up. <laughs> They're humming. Oh, here they come. Just watch them. Here Enjoy the show. Enjoy the show.
There, those ones doing it right over the robo. <laughs> they come here, they come. <laughs> Get ready, get ready. Go, 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 go. Watch those clones. Don't shoot the clones. Nice. Yeah, they're dropping short. Hey. <laughs> That was sweet. That was good. Robo's on or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're setting in. <laughs> oh yeah, they like it. <laughs> leave them, leave them, leave them. <laughs> on the right. On the right, get ready. Get right over the robos. Get ready. Yeah. Go, 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 go. Did you get it? I was going for the high ones. I went for the high ones and then I saw these ones no one shot at them. I thought, screw it. Boom, boom. I think everyone went for the high ones. Go, 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 go. Did you get a triple? That was sweet. That was sweet. They did it. All right. Let's get. Wait. Wait for a bunch of targets. Here. We're gonna get some good action. Okay, get ready. No. No. Got a group of big flock of ducks behind us. Oh, single honker, Jay. What? Single honker. Where? Right, right on the decoys. Okay, get ready, guys. Straight out, straight out. Okay, go kill him. Go, go. Oh, nice shot, whoever made that one. Single honker. Where? Right, right on the decoys. Okay, get ready, guys. Straight out, straight out. Here you go, kill him! Go, go! You know what? I that last volley. Yeah. I didn't count ducks. How well, many did you guys pick up? Uh, I got one. the piles. Is that got the clicker going? How uh, many did you pick up? There's eight there. Oh, okay. And uh, Neil's got one here. We hunted the uprights. Uh, we had 32, 32, prettiest hunt ever. 300 specs, like this. Here, here, here to the robo dogs, all of them. It was like, oh my god. <laughs> it was just as pretty, and the light was like this, so those big ones. Oh man. Oh, oh, man. Go, 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 go. change for sure.
straight up. Get ready, get ready. Go, 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 go. There he goes. Go, 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 go. Redemption! <laughs> Fun two off of them. Yeah. Yeah, for whatever reason, they don't know why they're... Yeah, they're landing. Yeah, they're hitting that basin right now. Oh, yeah, Jay, Jay. Go, 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 go
Oh, look at that. <laughs> right here. Go, 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 go. Short order of that. That was a last second little uh <laughs> That was beautiful. <laughs> right here. Go, 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 go. Short order of that. Here he comes on your left shoulder. Go, 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 go. Yay! All right. <laughs> Good job, gentlemen. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. We did it again. It's good. That's what it was. Let's good, Jamo. Let's get back that. Yeah. All right. Well, you know what? That that turned out unbelievable tonight. So, I mean, we knew we'd kill some geese and duck flying over right now. Um, ended up with 14 big Canada's. The specs ended up dumping in way at the far end of the section and actually sucked a bunch of our ducks over there. Then the wind went flat. Um, we had we had lots of ducks, singles, doubles, pairs, doing it in the decoys. We were trying to get those flights of four and five. You know, so we all had some targets to shoot at. And, and I'll tell you what, I had a, a goose come over 55, 60 yards up and the heavy hammer. I mean, I got three, two to three bird lengths in front of them. <laughs> Pull the trigger, just fold it. I mean, I can't believe that stuff. You know, when they're out 12 or 15 yards, you're going to kill them with anything, you know. But when, when you get challenged with those 35, 40, 45, 50, 55 yard shots, it's unbelievable. It's just another great night. I think we shot quite well and dumped a bunch of birds and great night, you know. Time to head back, pack up. Yeah, yeah. awesome, awesome, good. for sure, yeah. Good yeah, hustle. Yeah, yeah. The ducks were a little funny. The geese, the, the geese did it. The conditions, yeah. though. Yeah. So be on the beach, not in a stubble field. Yeah. You know, the wind died and you have no control of those birds. No. And it's hot. Like, we're yeah. all dying of yeah. heat. Yeah, oh, for sure. Yep. Good, right on. It's fun, guys. All right. That's it. That's a wrap.